Hello, my name is Yelena Matveishina and I work at Institute of Bioengineering. I'd like to present my uh, work titled uh, Practical Guidance for Genome-Wide RNA-DNA Triple Helix Prediction. Triplexes are triple helixes formed by RNA and DNA duplex via Huxtein or reverse Huxtein interaction. Triplexes can be used by long non-coding RNAs to regulate gene expression. So it's interesting to predict triplexes, but this is a very challenging task with great dependence on triplexes parameters. And two of existing tools for triplexes prediction long target and triplexator, the best one, do not show great prediction quality. We want to improve triplex prediction quality. To do so, we determine best triplexes parameters for triplexator. And uh, as RNA tend to form complicated structures, but particular nucleotide can be involved in Huxtein interaction or watson creek interaction, but not in both. In the, at the same time, uh, we suggest that nucleotides that form triplexes should be unpaired. So we would like to implement RNA secondary structure information to triple helix prediction. In this work, we use four lengthy RNAs, MEX3, HATER, TERC, and DUCKER1, um, that form triplexes, and they experimentally determined DNA binding regions. For each lengthy RNA, we predict triplexes using triplexate with different triplex parameters such as minimum triplex length, maximum error rate, and minimum G content. Then we measured triplex prediction quality uh, using area under the rock curve. And according to this area, select best triplex parameters. Also, we predict RNA secondary structure using two tools, RNA pale fold and RXS, with different thresholds for nucleotide pairing probability. And then we predict triplexes using triplexator only for single stranded fragment of lengthy RNA. And then according to triplex prediction quality measured by area under the rock curve, we select best program for secondary structure prediction and best threshold for nucleotide pairing probability. Triplexes parameters that lead to best results, that means results with biggest area under the rock curve, are 10 nucleotide triplexes minimum length and maximum error rate in triplex 20%. But according to minimum G content in triplex, uh, triplexes can be divided into two groups triplexes with low G content, at least 40%, and uh, triplexes with high G content, at least 70%. As we see no reason for preference to any of these values of G content, we suggest to try both variant uh, of parameters. On the next step, we predict RNA secondary structure with RNA pale fold and RXS tube, with different parameters for nucleotide pairing probability. After that, for obtained single stranded fragment of lengthy RNA, we predicted triplexes with two best sets of parameters determined above. That means minimum triplex length 10 nucleotide, maximum error rate 20%, and minimum G content 40 or 70%. Uh, we find out that RNA pale fold outperform error access and best Thresholds for nucleotide pairing probability are 0 0.5, 0 0.95, and 0 0.97. Here are rock curves for best triplexes prediction for entire lengthy RNAs and their single stranded fragments. Numbers in the legend means area under the rock curve. Secondary structure usage leads to best quality improvement in MEX3 case. 
Second best improvement results are for Docker 1 Lindsay RNA. While the improvement for Terk and Hotair Lindsay RNA is very moderate. To understand the difference in prediction quality improvement, we use triplex domain finder to find DNA binding domains, DBDs, regions in Lindsay RNAs that actually form triplexes. So we found that for MX3 there are lots of DNA binding domains and many of them have nucleotides with rather high probability of pairing. So usage of strict threshold for the probability of pairing leads to a few DNA binding domains left. But they usually form triplexes with rather high number of DNA peaks, triplex target sites or TTS. While in case of entire Docker 1 Lindsay RNA, only two DNA binding domains were found and only one were left when only single stranded fragment of this Lindsay RNA were considered. So this filtering leads to second best improvement results. But for Terk uh, Lindsay RNA and Hotair Lindsay RNA, uh, several DNA binding domains were found and practically all of them were left in intact uh, while considering single stranded fragments. So, to draw conclusions, we suggest to predict triplexes in this way. You should use 10 nucleotide for triplex minimum length, 20% for triplex maximum error rate, and you should try two values for minimum G content, 30% and 70%. You shouldn't disregard repeats and low complex regions as is suggested by default settings of triplexator as it impairs prediction quality. And also we suggest to predict triplexes not only for entire Lindsay RNA but also for single stranded fragment of Lindsay RNA that can be predicted by RNA pair fault program with thresholds for pairing probability of 0 0.5 or 0 0.95.